Okay. All right, guys, we're at Western Iowa Tech today here in our motorcycle and power sports division. Finally, looks like spring might be rolling around, right? <laughs> and uh, we've got Scott Alexander here today, our Mac uh, tool rep, and he's dropped off a new tool for us to experiment. Is this pretty new to Mac? Yeah, it's brand new. It just come out. So it, it, I think I saw you. It was in the monthly flyer. Yeah, and it just come out in a new catalog, too. Okay, so what it is is we can wrap around a spark plug wire, and if you're looking for a part number here, it's ET. 99476 so we'll see if this is successful in the video that'd be a good start <laughs> wouldn't it uh, but there's yes. a cool little tag here that basically tells what the LED lights are going to identify if we have a green light it's going to say that it's get this on here that the plug is firing and that we have spark so it kind of reminds us of our TechMate tool that we really like right and then if we have no spark uh, or bad ignition we got just a red and if we have a uh, low voltage it looks like it's red but it looks like it's illuminating or maybe flashing I'm gonna guess that's flashing uh, plug uh, plug short or flooded engine and then if we have it turning yellow it says we're high voltage a, a bad plug wire or a broken wire so we're gonna do a little experiment here on this can I get volunteer All right, guys, we're kind of checking out the tool here. And uh, one of the things we also uh, just been informed of on the side of it is that we have a selectable switch for an automotive application or what it looks like for small engine. Okay, Al, we'll go ahead and hook the tool around it before we start it just to be safe here. Guys, one thing we want to think about with ignition systems is that it's not a great idea to go ahead and grab a, a high voltage uh, secondary ignition wire not knowing the integrity of the insulation or the protection. Wouldn't you agree with me? Yeah. Okay, so right now, uh, we've got it where it lit up. Did you have to hit the reset button or, or no, what do we got? It lit up as soon as uh, I moved the lever. It's ready. Okay, so it's ready to go. Let's head and fire it up. If you can't see in the video, this light's on. It's kind of a little bit brighter there. Nice. We're right to green and sparking. Now let's go ahead and rev it up. All right, one thing I noticed about that, this will be fun to do, guys. We'll have to make some other videos to where we actually are able to use this on a failed wire. And uh, one thing I'd like to do is a quick little experiment. The more I think about it, why don't we accidentally take this off, okay, and just get this off to the side here, and we'll create... You know, an un it, now we don't have insulation there. We don't have any connection there because we're insulated from that. Let's just see what, how the tool reacts to this. Go ahead. Okay. Now look at look at what I changed to on the dial here. Got extremely high voltage. Okay, turn it off. Now, Scott, you said through some of the marketing or something that they thought that if it had high voltage, is that it was trying too hard to spark? Yeah, like maybe for a flooded engine. Okay. Cool. Another thing you can do is you don't even have to start the engine if you're just turning it over. Say you got something that won't start, you can just turn the motor over and it'll tell you if it's what's firing, which one's firing. Nice. Cool. Well guys, we're going to do some more experiments like unplugging the actual coil to prove the tool to show a no spark situation, things like that. But uh, Scott, I just want to thank you for uh, you know stopping by and dropping that. Do you know what price? Uh, 69 they just came out, $69. Okay, sounds great.